Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to use Microsoft SQL Server Migration Assistant for MySQL Database. Or we can say how to transfer MySQL data based table synonymous views processor inside the SQL Server. So now you can see this is here MySQL workbench. So this Sakira or tables views store procedure function that I am going to move inside the SQL Server. Okay. So first here I am going to create new database. So here let's give the uh, name Lenovo. After that click on this OK. So database created there is nothing inside there. Now the next is here. On this Google search box there you need to write here SSMA for MySQL. So click this you can get Microsoft SQL Server site you need to click this so after that scroll down so here you need to click here you can see micro Microsoft SQL Server migration assistance for MySQL this is language click on this or download now you can get three files so if you are using 64 bit operating systems so you can select this two option if you are using 32 bit operating system you can select this two option so i am using 64 bit operating system so i am selecting this and that after that click on this next so now uh, here the two files that come there ok so we need to download this two files so click on this start download and start download so here this al already downloaded so first we need to install this SSMA for MySQL or MSI file so uh, this we need to install first click on this open then click on this next so now you can see required component missing MySQL or DBC driver click on this download so now you can get here connector or DBC driver so here we need to select I'm using 64 then we need to select this option after that here you need to click on this download button no thanks then here you can get mysql so after downloading you need to click this open after that you need to install this one first ok so click on next i accept next complete next install so now mysql connected that installed successfully click on this finish so when that install after that you need to uh, do the further steps click on this next i accept next complete install so now here this is installing now icon that created click on this finish so now icon that created so after that here you need to install this extension pack click on open next so i already downloaded and installed mysql odbc driver click on this next i accept next complete install yes so now or uh, complete the first steps click on next then you can get the another steps so this is database that's automatically sorry server that automatically taken click on this next so this is server name there I am going to connect with the SQL server so username give the password and after that click next so this is the extension back password let's give here now click on this next now click next mm -hmm. so here this is successful database another instance no click on exit open Microsoft SQL server migration assistance so migration assistant for my sql database ok so it's the uh, checking update so the very first step is you need to go on the files new project so here you need to give the meaningful name so here giving sql server for my sql example so this is the project name here you need to select any so whatever version you are using you can select here so i'm using 
2019 select there after that click on ok so when you click on this ok the tool or that enable so first going to connect with the my sql so here automatically driver that's taken because i installed and here you can see so let's close that here going to open workbench once again so here you can see the root is user localhost 3306 is the port number so that here this all you need to fill that after that give the password and now click on this connect so there i'm going to here uncheck this word and secular that going to use click on this ok then you can see localhost 3306 that's come there after that you can see the database now the next is we need to so here going to check this Sakila. Next, next going to connect with the SQL server. So localhost here you need to give the pass oh sorry database. So Lenovo that I just created. So here let's click on this. So Lenovo that doesn't come. Then no need to worry about this. Lenovo you need to write there. So database should be empty. After that, SQL Server Authentication, you can try with the Windows Authentication as well. Now, SS the user, give the password. And thereafter, click on this Trust Server Certificate. After that, click on this Connect. So, it's a warning. Click on this Continue. Now, here, localhost, that's come there. And uh, here, you can see the list of database are there. After that, you need to select the database that you want to migrate. So Lenovo, that I'm going to use. Right click on this Sakila. After that, click on this Convert Schema. So now, this is doing the conversion of the schema. Okay, so this will take only few minutes, few second times to complete. So now, uh, this conversion and this all these things, 15 wording message. Okay, so thereafter going to so now if you refresh so you cannot see any database tables that's come inside there so what we need to do so when that uh, here this uh, completed so you need to go on this Lenovo right click there then click on this synchronize with the database click on this synchronize with the database then this all those things that going inside the SQL server click on this ok then this is doing the synchronization okay so although now that synchronized successfully there is no any pro problem after that when you refresh this now go to all tables then you can see Sakila lots of tables all the tables from the mysql that comes inside the sql server okay after then you can check the views also so this views that's come from the mysql and uh, synonyms here this is programming functionality here this is to appreciate the procedure that's come from the my os sql after that uh, right click there on this one select drop thousand so data that doesn't come so what we need to do so right click on this akira then click on this migrate data give the password then click on this connect and for SQL Server password, click on this connect. So now data that is transferring from MySQL to SQL Server. So this is the report. If you want, then you can save that. Let's click on this close. This is the status 15 successful. One has the problems. And uh, now if you click on this execute, Lenovo database selected, and now the data that's come there. Okay. So you can uh, select anything, any database. Now, this uh, or database tables you can use inside the SQL Server. So this is how we can migrate, migrate my SQL database tables in on this VS processor inside the SQL Server. Okay. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now this video is over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.